to monitor the data of the rotation and the torque uh, for the normal surface data. Long power section to obtain the needed power to drill. So if, uh, as we see, we see in the picture, we have long, long power sections. This is the long power section uh, that opposite in downhole motor. I don't need this all the, the long power section as the turbine motors compose from multi stages. So if I need more power, I should increase the stages. So as I increase the st stages, so that I required uh, at, uh, at a higher uh, and larger uh, section of uh, power section. So it is main this, this uh, the third uh, or fourth uh, this advantages of our uh, turbine motors. Also, the turbine motors operately uh, operates at relatively high rotary speed, and so are run ex exclusively with fixed cutter. I cannot use uh, roller cone as the speed is very high. So the the, the required uh, uh, the rock beds is the BDC or uh, polycrystalline diamond uh, bed. Also, turbine motors may uh, allow for higher bed weight and uh, allow to drill smoothly uh, for logging and casing operation than most of displacement motor. Yesterday, we have questions about the casing, how we install the casing uh, uh, for when uh, I di a drill directional. If the casing will be deviated, yes, the casing will be deviated. And should the path to be uh, smooth for uh, delivering uh, the directional uh, well? So if I make the directional well smooth while I using turbine, it will make it smoother than when I use a positive displacement uh, motor. Also, the, for the turbine, it composed from many specifications. Should have the torque of the turbine. Should I, I know the power of the turbine? So the maximum power achieved by, for the, the turbine uh, should be measured. If there is no uh, resistance torque for the shaft or no weight on bed, the drilling fluid can pass freely from the rotor and turbines and run with high rotary speed, which is called, we call it runway speed. In uh, turbine motors, we will hear runway speed. It is uh, the, the speed or high rotary speed for uh, turbine motors. Also, as the loading on drill bed uh, is increased, as I increase the weight on bed, the torque is increased and it will, ro it will cause rot rotational speed to decrease. So when I increase uh, the weight on bed, the rotation and the speed uh, will be lower, but will increase the torque. While at constant flow rate, when I constant flow rate, for example, 200 gallon per minute GBM, the motor torque varies linearly with the bed RBM. So the turbine motors have a narrow operating range ranges than the most of the space motor. In most of the space motor, I have different ranges. I can range in flow rate 100 uh, gallon per minute to 400, 500. So they have a huge uh, or a great uh, range of four operatings. While for turbine motors, I have narrow operating uh, ranges. The relatively uh, turbines have a smaller diameter and resulting in higher rotational speed. So if I don't need higher, higher speed, I cannot control the higher speed for a turbine. I should use the positive uh, displacement uh, motor. They also tend to be longer than positive displacement motor. Uh, as I mentioned, we have uh, longer, uh, from the disadvantages of the turbine, we have longer uh, section for the bar. As I want to increase the bar, I should increase the stages of the turbine. So it will cause uh, the section of the motor higher and which uh, may cause many problem for uh, building the angle and will affect the building angle over the long section. So it will have limiting application. Uh, because of these limitation, which are inherent in uh, turbine motor design, most of displacement motor are most commonly used for uh, directional uh, deflection tools than the most of displacement mode. This is a figure that uh, collect for each, uh, for each uh, motor turbine. I have the graph for uh, the horsepower 
the bit speed, the torque. I will combine all the situation that I have. Then I, I will result in the required uh, horsepower. So if I have bit speed, required bit speed, so for example, to 807, it will uh, result in required to, uh, 217 horsepower. So I need the mud bump that provide 217 uh, horsepower. Uh, so uh, this is uh, summarize the graph that when I want to increase uh, the rotary speed uh, and the 807 will result the required horsepower 217 with the speed will be slow and the maximum horsepower if I increase the weight of it to result in a slowing speed and the maximum horsepower will be 217. So we, so we, we mentioned the first deflection tool used is webstock. Webstock is very seldom used today. It's, a, uh, it's the first type because it is uh, simply wedge steel. It's installed to start the kick and will, will require many rotation and many operation and many trips to rotate. So we, all, we only have a uh, very limitation application for uh, webstock. Uh, and the other type we mentioned is the jet bed we call we oh, we mentioned that the jet bed it's only limited to be used for soft formation and the third uh, techniques is the downhole motors it's composed from two uh, two uh, two main types which is positive displacement motor and uh, turbine motors due to some uh, uh, limitation for the design of the uh, turbines the most common used one is uh, downhole uh, positive displacement motor, but the limitation in the positive displacement motor, it is the motors allow the rotation of the drill bits only. It's not allow the rotation of all the drill string. Great advancement and the great uh, patents that uh, has been uh, developed and uh, discovered, it is new system, it's called RSS. What is meaning RS? Rotary Steerable System. This is Rotary Steerable System, simply new form of direction drilling technology in down, replace the downhole motors, replace the, uh, the ordinary or conventional mud motor. They are generally programmed by uh, MWD engineers or directional drillings who transmit uh, the command from the surface by fluid pulses and fluctuation in the drill string rotation. The tool that a uh, rotary steerable system or the, this is tool receive these orders or commands at the required desired direction or the desired uh, inclination uh, from, uh, from, the, from the tool, from the surface. And this, unlike the mud motors, allow, uh, the, allow the rotation of all drill string. It does not allow only the rotation of the drill bit, it's allow rotation of the drill string. So uh, the RSS is designed to drill direction with continuous rotation from the surface. That's a huge and very, very advantages of the rotary steerable system uh, that, uh, that is uh, all worldwide now uh, used uh, in, many, in many applications as it will provide smoother and the time time saving but it uh, but increase the cost but when i i i save more days and more days of the rig uh, rent and the ring uh, uh, equipment uh, i save more costs for direction drilling so the rotary steerable system is very very uh, great uh, tools that allow the the, the the directional drillers to build the angle, to build the profile without, uh, without uh, causing many, any problems while uh, drilling, as it allows the rotation of all drill string, not the bit, as like in uh, a mud motor uh, and in uh, turbines. So the rotary steerable system is combo simply composed uh, from the upper, sec uh, the upper section, uh, may be used and not uh, ordinary used or not uh, a compulsory to use. It's uh, I can combine with the with the rotary stable system logging tools 
so I called it LWD, logging while drilling, as neutron density or gamma ray uh, or resistivity. Also, I installed uh, 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 an MWD system. MWD means measurement while drilling. This is MWD. It's a uh, measurement or survey uh, for uh, measuring all features of the drilling direction. It measures your inclination, measures the azimuths, it measures the true vertical depth, and uh, it alternates to provide a real time transparent of the data from the photo uh, to the surface through mud boxes. And uh, down the whole computer system will be provided and just adjust the whole fertilizer. And this system allows uh, the addition of all of the listening, allow to transmit the data of the direction of the profile uh, in real time. Uh, the advantages uh, of all the real time system uh, are many for geoscientists and developers. As the water sewer system uh, allows the flow of drilling water, both of the shapes and enhance this result and improve transportation of the drilling cutting. As the all the drilling cutting, all the drilling is drilling and rotated. And this is not only in the order of tools and conventional tools like by the own motors, it's allowed only the rotation of the result of the increase. Uh, and the enhancement of the transportation of the cutting uh, during the drilling. Also, so continuous rotation when I continuously rotate the drilling to reduce the drag and reduce the possibility for cutting speaking. So, if, I, if the cutting uh, is accumulated in the upper section without no rotation, when the cutting is accumulated for a huge amount, it may result in sticking. So, I cannot. Move the drilling ring up or down. So, so we will cause many problems. But with no drilling ring system, the continuous position of all the drilling ring, not only in the bed, will reduce the possibility for getting the sticking. Also, so continuous rotation uh, allow for movement in how to be related to drilling. So, I can say that uh, I may I say many times, say many days, if I drill with my motor to be in a well, will we'll take. Why uh, is going to be So there is a sleepy 
in this year is this need to uh, date the baby and now the relationship through both the baby system still is applied inside the balloon, apply inside the balloon that the also the baby determining in the desired direction. So I will go to the uh, left, I will wish the boat here and then they will create the desired direction to the left. This is a system that is called Bosch the baby. This is commanded. Yeah. <laughs> 
can not achieve uh, efficiency and smoother uh, wind back. So it requires uh, more uh, ions uh, to cause wind problem. But with rotor system, system, I can go for, uh, to uh, the complex, uh, complex uh, formation, complex geometry. I can accomplish it by uh, full formation to all in three dimensions. As the rotor system system allows the rotor system to be protected and created, allows the measuring of the inclination and asthmus and rotating of the asthmus directly in real time. So I have all of the tools that is required for the inclination directly. Another tools on another rotor rotor assembly. That used uh, in, the, in, the, in the last it is, is the BHA uh, uh, the BHA motor board uh, BHA assembly. Uh, BHA assembly in the field you will find the drilling techniques and the formation characteristics of the tensile surrounding this control over the whole uh, trajectory without it using the specified direction tools. This is done by a uh, different configuration of uh, drilling uh, cooler, of stabilizers, of the reamers, and other BHA to bend the angle or rope the angle is needed. So, as we have uh, various types, as, as we saw yesterday, type 1, type 2, type 3, holding, holding, or continuous bending. So, so I, I, uh, I can plan a uh, more assembly by using uh, by using uh, supply lines also by basis uh, supply lines here. It will cause supply here. It will cause the drop of the tank without using any tools or motors or anything. It will will be dropping the tank by the crack. If I want to increase the angle, I place the supply side here, and that that is the thing that will cause the thing to bend and increase the angle. If I want to maintain the angle without increasing the angle or decreasing the angle, I place many supply sides along the along the motor board assembly. So, so I may need uh, the direction of the wheel. So, so uh, now how we need, need only tools. I can make the direction of the wheel. But this can be used only in uh, not a complex situation. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, and will be uh, more, more cheaper than, than using the tools. Uh, or uh, some, some situation. As this is only one supply side. So if I want to uh, maintain and hold on the angle, I will place all the supply sides uh, along the base. So according uh, to the uh, function, so according to the situation I have, if I want to build the angle, I can place it in figure number one, one, four, one, 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 one uh, supply side. If I want to uh, build the angle uh, more, I will place one supply side. Size force 
while the second fruit is placed too far from the mirror, the drill cooler may impact the wind loop between the stabilizers and the building intensity may be lost. So, for a uh, stiffness, the weight of the computer can create the inferior of the stabilizers, which goes depending on the desired load of ignition and the weight of the ignition. So, the generator is not recommended to place the second stabilizer more than 6 feet from the first one. In some applications, for or even more stabilizers that are closely speed due to ease the overall stiffness of the GA and the straight board with constant and inclination and angle. So, so really only one of the devices we need to develop in the building of the tech You know, the first is the building of the tech that can decrease the whole inclination with cause of the building. But for giving a condition such as the formation and the time and with the drip, the drop rate is a strong function. If I want to control the dropping rate by using the stabilizer function or the distance between the head and the periphery stabilizer. At the distance from the bed, the periphery stabilizer increases, blood that compared to the weight rate will increase, and this bit allows the and this bit allows the motion to be dropped off. So generally speaking, the distance between the bed and the first supply visor is approximately three feet. Uh, also, the course of the right distance between the wheel and the supply visor must be carefully selected. So we have any information as we need. So we can not supply that. So we summarize the outcome. Some of our all the building techniques we have been discussed. First technique is work total. Second technique is the jet bed. The third technique is down our motors and divide it into uh, two techniques. It is the most displacement motor and the uh, uh, motors. The last technique and the most advanced uh, advanced techniques and most developed is the rotary stable system. Rotary stable system has many companies provide by a rotary stable system that allows the operation. Of all the there is a link, link, but the uh, key to name uh, to have a concept of operation is more important for a uh, uh, Another thing is the one line on the steering system or uh, 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 a rolling wire training system. One of the most important advancements is the real time measurement to them, as it will provide by by MWD and rolling wire training. MWD provide the angle measurement, as well as measurement, then get the position and the will be at the position. Also, it allows the monitoring of our OB ventilation rate or rate rate ventilation. Also, it allows the dividing of the actual weight we did. Also, it allows monitoring from down the whole port or all is that that has transferred in real time. It's really, really important. On board and the monitoring of the efficiency and the monitoring and the integration is also so it can compute the poor pressure and this is the computation of the poor pressure and give you a way to control the that that if I my 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 very below and then under by the and then it will go to get it and blow out so that the distribution of the volume of the tools and the volume of the volume of the tools will allow to compute the poor pressure. When I have a few questions, I give you a little more exercise. If any problem that happens, I end up over the horizon soon or over our abnormal information structure. It will give me a more exercise, a more exercise to increase the weight or to change the problem of the problem. Also, it's a detecting and related to the information structure. Give me uh, when, when, when I, I use this logging while I'm living, I can restore the camera or we store uh, also store the neutron, uh, neutron uh, logo. So I can in real time data, I know where, when I need it, where, what's the time in the formation chain. Is the target zone or not? But is this formation chain? Is there a problem or change in the chain? All of these data is transferred in real time like that. Also, it's a lot of evaluation of the way of the formation which has been integrated. In the dimension and the training, I train them. Then I may be in the training, I may be in the logging operation. So, with using logging while training the system, it's a 
allowed to make uh, two, two functions in one uh, run, running and logging in the same way. As there is a real time uh, measurement for the mission, uh, as measurement of camera uh, stability and neutron uh, protocols. Also, the measurement while running in the system records measurements at a real time.